Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. This video, as you might have already understood from the title and from the thumbnail, is going to be about this book, Shaggy Bane, because it has just won the Booker Prize 2020 and I personally think that it's a deserving winner. I haven't filmed my reaction video because... because... First of all, I, I haven't managed to read the whole shortlist and second of all, I was immediately spoiled, like as soon as I have opened Google today on my phone, like the first title was Shaggy Bane has won the Booker Prize and I'm like, oh well, thank you for spoiling me, <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I actually wanted to watch the whole announcement video, I was going to film the video still, but yeah, I got spoiled and I wasn't that excited anymore. <laughs> so I got upset and I decided not to film any reaction videos. Instead, I decided I will talk to you about the Shaggy Bane and about my feelings about this book because I have just finished reading it and I did enjoy it. And out of the four books that I have read from the shortlist, I have read Burnt Sugar, New Wilderness, dnf Shadow King. So this is my fourth one uh, out of the four books. This one I think is my favorite. I do have like a small time any complaint about this book there is like a problem the small problem that I have but apart from that I actually really liked it like this was everything I could ask for in the book I cared for all the characters they really felt like real people to me with real problems and I they stayed with me like I still think about them and my heart is just breaking <laughs> after this book so yeah i got everything that i wanted i got my emotions i got my thoughts i learned something about the part of the world which i haven't visited and i haven't had any experience with and a certain time period so it was educational interesting and it was practically everything that i wanted so first of all this book starts off with shaggy being a 16 year old boy it's, i think it's 19 1990s? 1990? 1992. The South Side, the first, very first part. Shaggy is 16 year old. He works in this kind of shopping mall. He sells like burgers or hot dogs. He sells some kind of food, I forgot. He earns very little money and with that money he rents a small room. He, he goes to school but he has to skip a lot of days because he has to work to earn his living and he tries to be normal, he tries to behave normal but everybody kind of sees through him and everybody understands that something is off with this kid, something is wrong. Basically the whole book is story of Shaggy and how he got where he was and what was the story of his family. The next part starts in, yes, 1981 and this is the beginning of his family story. He, at that time he lived with his mom, his, his dad, his two siblings and his grandparents. They all lived in this like government owned um, apartment. Officially this apartment belongs to Shaggy's grandparents <clears throat> but his dad didn't own any, any place of his own. With, together with his mom they decided to live with her parents. They didn't have anywhere to go because initially Agnes was married to another man, a cat Catholic man, who was in love with her. He, he adored her. He loved her to pieces. He did everything for her. She got bored with him. He was just too normal, too quiet, too do nothing for her. She, throughout the whole book, it mentions a lot of times how beautiful she is. Her current husband, her second husband, his name is Shaq, he is very proud of her beauty. She herself, she is proud, but it's like her last resort, you know? She She's an alcoholic. At that time, she's struck, already struggling with an alcohol addiction, and her looks her beauty, her clothes is kind of, I feel, I feel like for her this is the last thing that she can be proud of. That's why she is, all, she always keeps herself immaculate, she always wears makeup, she looks perfect. And the way I understood it, it's just that because it was the last thing 
that the, this woman could be proud of because her husband her second husband Shag he's a taxi driver and he cheats on her and she knows that because that's how her romance with him started and now when he is spending long night shift at work she also understand that she, that he has other women and that he cheats on her and that that makes her upset that makes her feel like he doesn't appreciate her and she goes to drinking and that's how she got addicted to alcohol and at this point when we meet them in 1981 she's already a heavily addicted woman she drinks every day and her family, her children practically never see her sober. Two of her older children, Catherine and Leek, or Alexander, so Leek, they try to spend as much time outside of the house as they possibly can. Leek is a very talented boy, he is an artist, he constantly draws, practically spends all of his days outside drawing. Catherine, she is the oldest, so she was working at the bank. Shaggy was the youngest. He was, in the beginning, she was like four or five years old. And basically the whole family was struggling with, with Agnes's addiction. Her parents couldn't do anything. Her husband couldn't do anything. Nobody could stop her. Eventually Shag, he finds this house somewhere on the outskirts of the city glass he decides to bring the family there so apart from apart from the grandparents because they were living in that apartment he decides to bring agnes away to that outskirts of the city because there were no bars there were no shops like he hoped that there would not be any opportunity for her to buy drink however at the same time when he brings her there with children he leaves he decides that he's not going to stay there. He leaves and starts living with another woman, which also just gives another blow to Agnes. And she starts drinking even more because that place where he brought her is just disgusting. Like it's dirty, it smells terrible. Like when they arrive there, Shaggy, five-year-old Shaggy, he approaches his mom and he says that mom i don't think i can live there it smells like cabbages it smells like something else like even a five-year-old kid could not live there he, like his very first impression was that he doesn't want to stay so the place is disgusting the whole neighborhood all the people like men are out of work women don't work they basically live on this like on this government aid so everybody is bereaved no one has anything like everyone is poor and and agnes starts struggling with alcohol even more because shag is not at home and she loves her husband she has always been in love with him for a very long time and him cheating on her first and then leaving her was main reason why she was so addicted this book is very very heavy it's very difficult to read i had to switch between this book and a russian book because this was just this was heartbreaking like this book is not completely hopeless which which like as many of you know i have problem reading books which don't offer you any hope and don't offer you any light at the end of the tunnel this book does offer offer that there are some bright moments there are moments of love because you can see that Agnes she really does love her children she loves her sons and daughter especially Shaggy the youngest one there will be an episode in the book which I don't want to spoil you but that episode just shows that she is ready to do like she's ready to do anything like literally anything for her children to have at least a, a little bit of fun to enjoy their life and have a normal life at least for a short period of time so you can see that agnes she is not a bad person she is not completely lost to the world she still has love and feelings it's just that she also has this disease that's the sickness that she cannot conquer that she cannot overcome and so as this book shows lives of, of these poor people in glasgow in in the 80s it doesn't only show the alcoholism problem it also shows um, how poor the population was it also deals with rape rape and drug addiction and people losing their jobs and the whole population of the city 
having no money and having no means to live and having no decent environment for children. One more topic that the author raises in this book is growing up as a queer child in Glasgow of the 80s when, when the idea of masculinity and being the man was a very important idea in the community and people didn't really understand this boy Shaggy who couldn't walk as a proper man for example his brother tried to teach him but it didn't come naturally to Shaggy and when it looked so natural on League he couldn't repeat that for example and boys obviously were making fun at him and and calling him names and you know spreading dirty rumors about him the boy himself didn't really understand who he was and what he was at that age but people around him did and people around him saw that he is something different he is not the traditional normal boy and they didn't accept that they didn't understand it he was wrong for them he was dirty for them he was abnormal for them and that's also heartbreaking seeing his relationship in school and how other kids are treating him that is also very heartbreaking. At the same time, remembering what he has to deal with at home. The whole book is just very heavy. The whole book is just very difficult. So yeah, prepare yourself for something heavy and difficult. But at the same time, so worth it. I feel like this book really is worth reading. And I do hope that people, now that it has won the Booker Prize, people will pick it up and uh, give it some attention and give it some love. From what I have seen and watched the interviews with the author Douglas Stewart, he, it's a very personal novel and I, and I think it shows because the author himself, he lived in Glasgow at that time and he lost his mother to alcohol. This relationship between mother and her youngest son, this love that they both have for each other, boy trying his best to keep his mom off drink and just be there for her and support her is very heartbreaking relationship and i think a lot of it comes from the author's personal experiences i don't want to talk too much about this because i don't want to spoil it for you for you it's very much about just experiences of this family and experiences of the woman and her son and their love for each other i guess the only problem w for me with this book was that it did feel a little bit dragged sometimes sometimes i found my mind like wandering and i just wanted to know what happens next i wasn't that much invested in like different descriptions but again some other parts of this book for example i just read on one breath and i couldn't stop i really enjoyed certain parts so i feel like pacing sometimes was off but obviously it's a matter of just personal preferences and personal personal tastes something that feels dragged for me would not probably feel dragged for someone else but yeah for me sometimes i feel like certain small some parts of this book could be taken taken out and not much would change but it's just a small complaint because overall in general i really like this book i was so much invested in Agnes and I was so much invested in Shaggy and coming from Russia where alcoholism is also a big problem even now especially in small towns and in small villages where people don't have any jobs I guess this book was really an kind of eye-opening for me because it kind of gave like a human appearance to this problem because you don't often see a person behind that problem you see this kind of ruin of a person but you don't really see the human side of it you don't really know the story behind it and what happened and why this person beca became like that and this book offers a deep look into what might happen to certain people so yeah those were my feelings about Shaggy Bane I actually I enjoyed this novel but it's a very heavy one and it has a lot a lot of trigger warnings especially for rape for alcoholism for for violence so just keep that in mind but it is a great great debut i really did appreciate it and i enjoyed it i out of the books that i have read out on the short list this i think was my favorite i also enjoyed burnt sugar but i think i preferred shaggy bane to burnt sugar because 
characters in my opinion here were much much deeper the shaggy bane my feelings i really liked it i'm i'm glad that it won the booker prize i think it's a deserving winner so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have read this book let me know in the comments what you thought of it which book out of the short list did you root for and if you agree with the decision of the judges and for now thank you so much for watching i hope you are having a very good day and i will see you soon in my next videos thank you very much bye